Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Gold Rush Season 14, Episode 20, Does Parker Schnibble Go Too Far? Gold Rush Season 14 is heading towards the final weeks of the short gold mining season. The teams are trying to extract as much gold as possible before winter hits them. In addition, they need to think about the future. What is Episode 20? entitled Waking the Beast, about. Here are all the details. Here is what Gold Rush Season 14, Episode 20, Waking the Beast, is about. Gold Rush Season 14 is winding to a close. Will the gold miners finish strong in the final episodes? According to a synopsis of Episode 20, Waking the Beast, it looks like there is one miner that will rise from the ashes of the phoenix. Who will that be? In this episode, Tony Beats wants to bring Dredge No. 1 back to life. Tony is convinced that this is key to his season's success. Can he redeem himself? Does Parker go too far in Gold Rush Season 14, Waking the Beast? In the preview for Gold Rush Season 14, Episode 20, Waking the Beast, Parker Schnibble and his right-hand man, Mitch Blaschke, have a conversation. Parker informs him that Tyson wrapped up his work on Australia Creek. Mitch is happy. They have a lot of sluicing to do before the season ends. They have been stretched thin. There is never enough help or equipment to get it done. However, Parker's news may not meet Mitch's expectations. Schnibble tells him that they need to start stripping ground. He then explained why. If they strip now, they will be ready for mining next season. Otherwise, they will arrive in the spring, and the ground will be too hard to strip. Then, he calmly reminded Mitch it would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to remedy this. Parker knows he is asking the world of Mitch, but they both know this is how they must get it done. Mitch agrees that his future self will be happy if they focus on the stripping, but now, his present self wonders how they will get all the work done. Where is Rick Ness? Gold Rush fans may wonder where Rick Ness is in this episode. Unfortunately for Team Rally fans, there is no mention of him in the synopsis, nor is he featured in a preview video. Instead, Waking the Beast will include the McCoffin family. They will be looking for a new honey hole to stake their claim. Can they find the right place and make their gold mining dreams come true? The sun was just beginning to rise over the rugged Alaskan terrain casting a golden hue over the sprawling landscape. This was Gold Rush Season 14, Episode 20, a highly anticipated episode that promised drama, intense competition, and high stakes. Fans of the show were on the edge of their seats, eager to see whether Parker Schnibble, the young and ambitious miner, would go too far in his relentless quest for gold. Parker Schnibble, a name synonymous with determination and an insatiable drive for success, had built a reputation over the years as a formidable force in the mining world. His journey from a novice miner under the guidance of his grandfather to a seasoned professional commanding his own crew had been nothing short of remarkable. But with success came challenges, and Parker was known for pushing the boundaries, sometimes to the brink of breaking. The episode began with a tense atmosphere at Parker's claim. The previous episode had left viewers with a cliffhanger. Parker had discovered a rich vein of gold, but faced a significant obstacle in the form of a large boulder blocking access to the mother load. The question on everyone's mind was how far Parker would go to get to the gold. As the cameras panned over the mining site, viewers could see the sheer scale of the operation. Heavy machinery roared to life, with excavators and bulldozers working in unison to clear the path. Parker, with his signature intense gaze, was in the thick of it, directing his crew with precision. His determination was palpable, and it was clear that failure was not an option. However, it wasn't long before tensions began to rise. The enormity of the task at hand was taking its toll on the crew. The equipment failures and safety concerns started to surface, creating an undercurrent of anxiety. Parker's relentless pursuit of the gold seemed to overshadow everything else, and some of his crew members began to question the wisdom of his decisions. 
In a particularly dramatic scene, Rick Ness, Parker's longtime friend and fellow miner, confronted him about the risks they were taking. Parker, we need to slow down. This isn't just about the gold. It's about our safety and the well-being of the crew. Rick implored, his voice tinged with frustration. Parker, however, was unmoved. We're so close, Rick. We can't stop now. This is what we've been working for all season. We just need to push a little harder, he replied, his eyes fixed on the prize. The tension between Parker and Rick was palpable, and it was clear that this episode would be a test of not just their mining skills, but also their friendship. As the day wore on, the situation grew more precarious. The boulder, now partially exposed, seemed even more formidable up close. Parker decided to take a riskier approach, opting to use explosives to break it apart. This decision was met with immediate resistance from the crew, who feared for their safety. Despite the concerns, Parker was resolute. He meticulously planned the blast, ensuring all safety measures were in place. The moment of truth arrived, and as the countdown began, viewers held their breath. The explosion rocked the ground, sending debris flying and a cloud of dust enveloping the site. As the dust settled, the cameras captured the crew's anxious faces, waiting to see if the gamble had paid off. To everyone's relief, the boulder had been successfully fragmented, clearing the path to the rich vein of gold. The crew erupted in cheers, their earlier apprehensions replaced with jubilation. Parker's risky move had paid off, but the question lingered, had he gone too far? As the episode drew to a close, the aftermath of the explosive decision was evident. The crew, though elated by the discovery of gold, was visibly exhausted and shaken by the day's events. Parker, ever the taskmaster, acknowledged the toll it had taken on his team. In a rare moment of introspection, he gathered his crew and expressed his gratitude for their hard work and dedication. I know I push you guys hard, sometimes too hard, Parker admitted, his voice softer than usual. But it's because I believe in what we're doing here. This gold isn't just about money, it's about proving that we can achieve great things together. The episode ended on a poignant note, with the crew rallying around Parker, their camaraderie strengthened by the day's challenges. It was a reminder that in the high-stakes world of gold mining, success often comes at a price, and it's the strength of the team that makes it all possible. Bold Rush Season 14, Episode 20 was a roller coaster of emotions, showcasing the highs and lows of life on the claim. Parker Schnibble's relentless pursuit of gold and the lengths he was willing to go to achieve it were both inspiring and cautionary. The episode left viewers with much to ponder, particularly the fine line between ambition and recklessness.